YouTube, it's Tom, back with another one for you. <clears throat> so this one here, uh, I think you guys will like because I see a lot. And so, you know, it's something that took me a while to figure out too. So this is, um, this is how you sign without liability, right? So you can, excuse me, so you can enter into a contract without um giving up any of your rights because a lot of times what will happen is that you know as soon as you sign a document the adhesion contracts that come along with it the fucking invisible bullshit is fucking astronomical and these motherfuckers want to invent um these fucking imaginary contracts based on a signature that's what they love to fucking do man um <laughs> the shit is crazy so in order to avoid that what I what I used to do and then this is what I what I do now. So I used to always you can either use the verbiage so UCC 1-308, right? You can put that literal code under your uh under your name wherever you sign um or you can use the verbiage which is um reservation of rights. You can sign and then literally write reservation of rights if you don't want to use the commercial code still stay in your private capacity but still have the same um protection when you enter into a contract privately right using the uh, verbiage instead of the code so you can do that so this here says the purpose of ucc 1-308 enacted to replace ucc 1-207 which is what it used to be and these people like to switch it up all the time to keep everybody fucking having to study which which is good anyway because you know if you don't use it you lose it and so i'm kind of glad that i started to do this too because i'm fucking remembering everything that i thought i forgot <clears throat> and then it's um, it makes it easier to learn. So when you start teaching, you literally have to go back and fucking learn to make sure you're teaching these people the right shit. Unless you're talking out of your ass. Everything I talk about here, I'm going to reference in code and things like that so you know it is what it is. And I highly advise you to go ahead and look this shit up and, uh, and do your own research. Don't believe shit that I say. For all you know, I'm a fucking lying paid agent. You know what I'm saying? I guarantee you I'm not because I ain't fucking getting paid. <laughs> these niggas ain't paying me. So look, so... um. So always do your own research, man. That's the biggest thing, man. Do not believe a thing that anybody fucking says. A lot of a lot of people just talk out of their ass. They lie. They come in to make shit up to fucking dis discourage people from studying, finding out who they are. Because when they find out who they really are, they find out who these fucking clowns are really not. And that's the biggest thing that they try to do. And that's their, and and that's just their job. You can't you can't take it personal. That's their job. Like they come here to help us grow. They act like pieces of shit in order for us to know. Um, what it's like to be treated like that. You know what I'm saying? Because then you're going to stand up for, for not only you, but for your family and other people that you see getting, getting fucked too. You know what I mean? Because you probably wouldn't fucking defend somebody if you didn't know what it was like to be bullied. You know what I'm saying? Because you wouldn't know what they're, what they're going through. So the empathy, I think is the biggest part of this whole thing too. Is that so, so that, so, uh, you kind of gain that. And, uh, you know, I've been using that as a, as a driving force to try to help people see things more clearly because, this this information will change your life you know what i'm saying because um you don't you don't have to be subject to these people's tricks and fucking games and sleight of hands and all that nonsense when you know what it is that you're doing and when you know that just because you fucking sign something doesn't mean that they can just do whatever the fuck that they want and this is going to guarantee that so the purpose of ucc 1-308 and that enacted to replace UCC 1-207 is to protect an individual or business entity from unknowingly giving up rights by agreeing to specific contract terms. And then, so then this here, so so that's one thing that you can do, which, um, which I used to do, but this is what I do now. So the four corners rule in law, also known as the patrol evidence rule, Stipulates that if two parties enter a written agreement, they cannot use oral or implied agreements in court to contradict the terms of the written agreement. So they're not going to be able to throw in fucking any extra shit and be like, hey, bro, look, we've been fucking jacking your trust since you signed this document that had your social on it. We've been using it to offset all of our own debt and we bought some houses and cars. Oh, yeah. And then we transferred some funds into our fucking overseas accounts and shit into our into our private trust and shit. Is that cool? Because we thought that that's what you meant by when you when you signed this thing because you needed food stamps or because you needed some health insurance. We figured you wanted that. You wanted us to fucking rape your whole account. Man, get the fuck out of here with that shit. You pieces of shit, bro. So look, this is what you do. <laughs> this is what I do. I, uh, so the four corners rule that the. 
the term four corners refers to the four corners of a document. Basically, it implies that the only legal parts of the contract are within the four corners of a page or online document. If there is evidence that exists outside of these four corners, they cannot be used in court if they directly contradict the terms of the written contract. So what I do, I put my name. It ain't even, I fucking change it to a symbol, right? I'm the motherfucker formerly known as the nigga you used to know. I put a fucking symbol. Your mark is your signature. I put a symbol and I put a fucking square around that shit on whatever I sign. And people look at it funny, but they ask more questions when I used to do one CC uh, dash uh, UCC one dash three oh eight. They used to be like, "Oh, what's that?" And it was cool. The conversation. Oh, what is this? Oh, that's my reservation of rights. I'm just making sure that uh, that my rights are safe here and all that when uh, throughout throughout the terms of this contract, right? But this is even better because they don't even ask you. <laughs> they don't even ask you questions. They just look at you like, what the fuck? And bring it to somebody to see if it's cool. And it is cool, bro. Because nobody, who the fuck's going to tell you how to sign a contract, bro? Get the, stop it. Cut it up. So, that, so that's what I do. It's a symbol with a fucking box. So there's, <laughs> essentially there is no fucking contract, right? It is what it is. And that's how I sign shit now. And I don't have any fucking problems with it either. And I mean, the shit works. So... And that's how I know that when I go to court uh, and when I ask for the fucking signature, they're going to know what the fuck time it is. Especially if it's a judge, they know what it is. So no contract exists outside of the four corners. So if I sign something and put a box around it, that's the only contract that there is. It's only me and me. You know what I'm saying? So it is what it is. Uh, and then that way they're not going to be able to go jack your trust and do all that stupid shit that they want to do because when they forward that document or they staple it together and sell it as a fucking security on the market like they do, uh, with your with your checks that you write and shit like that, how come you not getting it? <clears throat> how come you not getting your checks back anymore? Remember how you when you used to send a check out in a in a store or even at the bank or whatever that shit comes back to you in the mail canceled? What's going on with all your checks? They're keeping all your fucking checks because that is money. Money is when you sign something. That is the fucking money. You are the fucking money. So what they're doing is taking your fucking checks and they're putting them together as bond. They're fucking stapling them shits together as our securities and selling them on the on the on the fucking market as debt instruments and shit. This is what they're doing. So they're doubling, tripling up, quadrupling up on you motherfuckers because you don't know your shit. So sign that shit, put a box around it, end the story. That's what I do. So that's what I got for you for now. Until we meet again.